What's up, Saint Army? Welcome to the video. First off, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. You guys will not regret it. Lots more motivational type workout content coming your way. Let us know in the comment section down below what any future workouts you guys would like to see. But I'm gonna take you through today's workout. I'm gonna tell you guys the exercises, the sets of reps, and why I chose these exercises. So first off, I had to adjust this workout because I've had a pretty rough month where I sprained my foot and my hand. So those are two injuries that I'm trying to work around. So that's why I didn't have a lot of leg exercises that I want to add, a lot of explosive leg workouts that you know I know a lot of Taekwondo people do and a lot of martial artists do. So first exercise we did was incline bench press. We just did three sets, 10 reps. We superset that with the medicine ball throw. So initially I was gonna do the single arm medicine ball throw where you stand in a legging position and you're throwing into a wall or into a bag or something. Um, here I don't have anything to safely throw into that I won't break so I had to disregard that exercise but instead I did um, chest lying medicine ball throws so basically you're holding a medicine ball get something that's comfortable that's heavy enough where you're not gonna hurt yourself and it's not gonna smash you in the face on the way down that you can catch safely so because of my wrist I went light and basically what you're doing you're lying on your back and you're exploding with your chest shoulders triceps throwing the ball as high as you can and catching it safely on the way down. So we did three sets of 10 for the bench press and three sets of 20 for the mess and ball throws after that. So what you're gonna notice in this workout is I started with a compound movement and I follow up with an explosive type exercise. So next exercise, we did kettlebell Bulgarian split squats. So these type of split squats I like to do because it hits a lot of your abs and engages your core and works your balance at the same time. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the 
kettlebell and I'm holding it over the top of your head, it doesn't really matter what arm you use. You'll notice that if you do the same arm and the same, you work if you work the same arm and same leg, it'll work a lot more of your core than if you use the opposite arm. So if I'm holding the kettlebell with my left arm and doing squats on my right leg, that'll be easier than holding the kettlebell with my right arm and doing squats with my right leg as well. So for that, I just did sets of 20 for both. So I did 20 kettlebell Bulgarian split squats, superset that with 20 medicine ball slams. So for the slams, you're squatting, picking up the ball, not using your lower back, bringing the ball as high as you can, like a spirit bomb and slamming it down to the earth or freezes land or wherever you want to destroy like that. And you're doing sets of 20. For the next exercise, I did pull-ups, just body weight, four sets about 15 reps. I did kept it around 10 to 15 reps, kind of went by feel till I was about like one or two reps from failure. I'm pausing at the bottom, exploding at the top and really holding that contraction. I superset that with one minute of jabs with the dumbbells. So for one minute, you're getting the dumbbells and I'm pretty much just looking in the mirror and throwing jabs at my face in the mirror. And that burned like hell. I ended up doing three sets of that. I really like the standing dumbbells because it really works on your um, conditioning training. A lot of fighters, the first thing you'll notice when they're in the ring is the first thing that drops is their hands because your shoulders get tired and burnt out and that's something that can really help you hold your hands up as well as just fighting and practicing in general but that's a great conditioning exercise. So from there we did single leg RDLs. So what you notice on a lot of the compounds is I'm doing a lot of unilateral type of work and reason being is one like my foot sprained, but two is you want to make sure that each side is getting even work. I really like, you know, those unilateral isolation type exercises because one leg or one side will always be stronger than the other unless you're ambidextrous. But for me, that's always been a big problem. So I really like them unilateral exercises. So for the single leg RDL, I did three sets of 20 reps and I followed that with Russian twists that turned into medicine ball slams. So basically you're coming around with a Russian twist and you're slamming the ball on each side, just really crunching down on your obliques. All right, and the last exercise is gonna be a giant set. So basically I'm doing 10 dragon flags. I'm doing 20 kicks on the bag, 10 on each side. I'm trying to launch it as fast as I can, working on speed, balance. And then I'm doing 20 crunches, 20 kicks. 20 bicycles and then 20 kicks. Bicycles I really like doing on the bench because you get that extra extra range of motion as you come around. If you do it on the flat ground, your elbows are gonna hit the ground before you can get that nice stretch. If you do it on the bench, you can come down and really crunch into each side. So I really prefer it that way. And this is a great way to break a sweat and just get some extra conditioning at the end of your workout. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Again, like the video, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. I really appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys made it to the end of the video, comment down below, hashtag, monkey king and let me know if you guys are excited for gata high school season two if you guys haven't watched it yet or any future motivational type workout videos you guys would like to see we're also filming the 2021 push-up challenge coming soon so stay tuned for that i am not looking forward to it i have lots of healing to do but yeah, we're gonna kill it regardless, so stay tuned for that. For online coaching, email me, gogoflex at gmail.com, programs, saiyanarmy.com. I'm still working on my Saiyan Gains program coming your way at the end of the year. Much love, Shantanani, aloha.